yards into Charger territory. Wagstaff's play against the Chargers earned him the American League's Outstanding Defensive Player Award. After the Los Angeles game, we went to Denver for the final game of our three-game Western swing. What happened out there bears reviewing. If for no other reason then, I can't believe it myself. Explosive offensive plays like Wilmer Fowler's first period 61-yard gallop made it a cakewalk for the Bills for almost three complete quarters. Here's DeVenion taking a quick pass from O'Connor. A fake, a few artful dodges, a reverse of field, and Doobie's away. 76 yards for the score. Watch the block on the last Denver defender by end Al Hoyden. Let's look at this play again in slow motion. Watch DeVenion fake this defensive halfback. the Bills were just as tough. Mac Yoho intercepts Frank DePuca's pass and scores with an assist to Torsan who deflects the ball. Richie McCabe intercepts on the 19-yard line and this play. The interception sets up Wilmer Fowler. First play, the speedy halfback finds a hole, cuts in, and he's over. Things were really going along fine. We were leading 38 to 7 at this point, and then the skies fell in. This is the play that started. Puka hits end Lionel Taylor with a little quick pass. Lionel gets away at the line of scrimmage, and he ends up with an 80 yard touchdown run. Early in the fourth period, Puka passes to halfback J.C. Broadnax for 19 yards. Then, to Taylor again on a little screen, and the great end carries for a 24-yard touchdown. By this time, the panic was on. Here, Taylor makes a magnificent catch of the pass from Topeka and goes in. Play travels 35 yards. They scored again to make it 38 to 35. Then, with a minute and 12 seconds left, we had to punt. Denver was on its own 34-yard line, 66 yards away. They ran eight plays in one minute to set up their tying field goal. With four seconds left, here's how they did it. But the Puka pass is incomplete. Next, Archie Matzos gets in front of a Tupuka effort and almost intercepts. But then Tupuka hits Taylor, and the Denver end carries to the Buffalo 45. Another Denver pass. Incomplete, but interference is called against Matzo. Topeka throws for 11 yards to Greer on the Bills' 20-yard line.
Then on the far sideline to flanker back Ken Carpenter. Puka fades again. He throws. Too long out of bounds. Defensive halfback Bill Atkins makes a great save on this play to prevent a touchdown. The kicking specialist Gene Mingo unlimbers for the 19 and it's all tied up. It was a long plane ride home that night. Matter of fact, we never did get home. We had to land in Cleveland and come in the next day. Many of our fans wondered why we weren't able to use Richie Lucas more effectively this season. Well, Richie hurt his foot in our first game with New York, and it never did heal completely. It pained Richie to run. But on a road trip to Texas against Houston and Dallas, he did some fine work. I'm really encouraged that next year he's going to be of great help to us. The boy has exceptional all-around talent. Richie in action at Dallas. He passes to end Dan Chamberlain for 12 yards on this play. Now watch as he spots fullback Ray Carlton. Carlton grabs the pass and picks up 12 more yards. Lucas can't find a receiver, so he takes off himself. 16 yards later, he's down. Later on, Richie starts another drive by passing to end Monty Crockett for 12 yards. Dallas has a pretty good rush on here, so Richie tucks the ball under and takes off once again. He picks up 14 yards. Early in the second period, Tommy O'Connell comes in to engineer one of Buster's pet plays. Fake field goal. The short pass is to Carlton. Cuts down the near sideline to the Dallas 12-yard line. Then it's Lucas once again. And Richie polishes off the scoring drive by keeping the last seven yards for the touchdown. Get the lights, Breezy. That just about wraps up the season, folks. We tried to make a film that would show some of the highlights and the lowlights, too, and include outstanding individual performances. I hope you enjoyed it. Next year, the Bills will be back again, and I think we'll be a lot stronger and far more ready to contend for the Eastern Division Championship. The coaching staff knows the weaknesses that must be corrected. We are doing our very best to correct them. We've signed some of the best college players in the country. Now, I'm looking forward to 1961 with much enthusiasm. I hope you are, too. Hi, I'm Chuck Burr, Director of Public Relations for the Buffalo Bills, with a reminder that right now is the time to reserve your choice season ticket locations for 1961. Remember, all season ticket orders are filled on a first-come, first-served basis. So why not take advantage of the bill's deferred season ticket payment plan? $10 down on each ticket will reserve your seats in any price range, $35, $28, or $21, and you have until June 1st to pay the balance. Like Buster Ramsey says, 1961 is going to be a most exciting season. I hope to see all of you at the game. Thank you.